Warming up for horizontal flexion using destination mats. Here you can see Smokey approaching a mat and he gets a click and a treat for targeting the mat. Giving the horse a mat to go to gives them a destination and they get quite keen to walk forward. So if your horse is hesitant about going forward, using a mat can be a really useful thing. Here he's walking along nicely and you can see he's keen to get to his mat and because we use clicker training he gets a click and a treat or you could just stop and give the horse a little bit of relaxation time if you don't want to use food and then we walk on to the next mat. I've got three mats out today so we can walk around them in a circular pattern or we can go from mat to mat like we're doing here you can see he targets it with his feet and he gets his click and treat. I just want to show the finesse startup. Um, it's a walk on multi cue where you breathe in, you run your outside hand up the rope, you focus up and ahead, and you step off with the outside leg. So, all those things together, as you can see here, give the horse the cue to walk forward. Eventually, you just have to breathe in. I'll just show it again here doing all those four things at the same time and he walks off. Then once you've got going to mat to mat at the walk nice you can practice your walk jog transition and because the horse knows he's going to come to a mat he's going to stop there so it's less likely that he's going to take off with you. So you can see here I ask for a jog and because he knows he's going to stop at the mat he organizes his body so he can stop well at the mat. Some horses will tend to run off when you first up the energy so this is a useful way to keep them focused on something. Horses love a destination. They like to know what's happening before it actually happens. Now you can see there instead of going around in the circle we did a wee turn and here we're doing a wee turn on the haunches to head across the circle to the other mat rather than just following the edge of the circle around. Finesse start off and I start jogging there but he just stretches into a faster walk. He's got a very fast walk and halts himself at the mat and here I ask him to come around with me and another walk jog transition and a halt at the mat. Now we're going to do everything again from the other side. So we've turned him around, so now we're walking on his left side. All the first bits were walking on his right side. And it's exactly the same procedure. You want to make sure you can do all of this stuff from both sides of the horse. So this is a warm up before we actually start working on the horizontal flexion. We need the horse warmed up. Then we can do weaving to aid horizontal suppling. And in this weave situation, I've got rails for him to step over and gaps of varying sizes. So not only is he flexing the right side and then the left side each time, but he also has to think about stepping over stuff and negotiating different sized gaps. So this is a nice way to lead into the more demanding flexion exercises which I'll put on the next little clip. So this was warming up, getting ready to do more demanding exercises.